केमिकल बॉन्डिंग एंड मॉलिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट चैप्टर इन फर्स्ट पी यू सी केमिस्ट्री इन आनियल एग्जाम यूल गेट ट्वेल्व मार्क्स फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर दिस वीडियो हैज सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ दिस चैप्टर फॉर आनियल एग्जाम बिटवीन वाटर एंड हेच टू एस द मोर पोलर इज वाटर बिकॉज ऑफ मोर इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिव नेचर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन आटम रेजोनेंट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ओजोन ओ थ्री इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर टू मार्क्स यू नीड टू प्रैक्टिस दिस स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड शेप ऑफ सम ऑफ द मालिक्यूल्स लाइक बोरान ट्राइक्लोराइड इज ट्राइगोनल प्लेनार बेरिलियम क्लोराइड इज लीनियर मीथेन इज टेट्राहेड्रल फॉस्फरस पेंटा क्लोराइड इज ट्राइगोनल बाइपिरामिडल एंड सल्फर हेक्सा फ्लोराइड इज ऑक्टाहेड्रल एंड यू नीड टू प्रिडिक्ट द शेप ऑफ द मालिक्यूल बेस्ड ऑन द नंबर ऑफ लोन पेयर एंड बॉन्ड पेयर इन द मालिक्यूल सो इन फर्स्ट केस द सेंट्रल आटम इज सराउंडेड बाई टू लोन पेयर एंड फोर बॉन्ड पेयर then the structure or the geometry will be square planar now in the second case the central atom is surrounded by one lone pair and three bond pair as in case of ammonia then the geometry will be trigonal bipyramidal and third case the central atom is surrounded by two lone pair and two bond pair for example in water central atom is oxygen it is surrounded by two lone pair and two bond pair so its geometry is bent lattice energy is important definition for one mark it is the energy required to separate the cations and anions present in the ionic solid then in bond parameter the definition of bond length bond angle bond enthalpy and bond order these definitions are important for one mark then for two marks definition of nonpolar molecules examples are important nonpolar molecules has a covalent bond between two identical atoms for example between two hydrogen atom the covalent bond is nonpolar because the bond pair electrons are equally shared between the two atoms that's why they are non polar molecules whereas in polar molecule the covalent bond between two combining atom and this covalent bond shared pair of electron get displaced towards more electronegative atom for example here chlorine so because of that polarity develops in a molecule such molecules are called as polar hcl and water are polar molecules in polar molecules we will find one specific property called dipole moment and this dipole moment is the product of product of magnitude of the charge and the distance of separation between the charges the unit of dipole moment is d by important for two marks then they will ask you to give the reason why beryllium difluoride or beryllium dichloride dipole moment is zero because in case of beryllium difluoride the dipoles are in opposite direction so dipole moment of one bond cancels the dipole moment of another bond that's why the dipole moment is zero similarly in boron trifluoride also the dipole moment is zero because of its symmetrical structure dipole moment of two bonds is equal and opposite to the third bond that's why here also dipole moment is zero one of the important two marks question here is the difference between sigma and pi bond sigma bond is formed by axial overlapping of atomic orbital and sigma bond is stronger whereas pi bond is formed by sideways overlapping of atomic orbitals and pi bond is weaker then the two conditions for the linear combination of atomic orbital is the combining atomic orbitals must have comparable energies and the extent of overlapping must be large one of the three marks question is the postulates of valence shell electron pair repulsion theory vs epr theory so this theory explains the geometry of the molecule and the geometry of the molecule depends upon the number of uh, electron pairs around the central atom number of lone pair and number of bond pair and electron pairs repel each other because of negative charge similar charge 
and the repulsive interaction between electron pair is between lone pair and lone pair we will find more repulsion than lone pair and bond pair and less repulsion you can find between bond pair and bond pair this order is very important so any three postulates you should remember about this vs epr theory formal charge is very important formal charge is can be calculated by the formula number of valence electrons in the atom minus half of the number of bonding or shared pair of electron minus number of lone pair of electron so here we have an example in ozone there are three oxygen atom we need to find out the formal charge on each and every oxygen for example first oxygen oxygen valence electrons are six so around first oxygen there are two bonds so the shared pair of electrons are four and around this oxygen there are two lone pair of electrons means four electrons so when you calculate on first oxygen there will be no formal charge similarly on second oxygen valence electrons are six minus half of shared pair of electrons are six there are three bonds that's why six electrons in shared pair and only one lone pair so the lone pair of electron is two when we calculate the formal charge on second oxygen is plus one plus one and in third oxygen the number of valence electrons are six and bond pair is only two electrons minus lone pair electrons are six so on third oxygen the formal charge is minus one now the topic from hybridization sp hybridization is in beryllium chloride in beryllium chloride the in the excited state electrons present in s orbital and p orbital they undergo hybridization to produce two sp hybrid orbitals each sp hybrid orbital axially overlap with the p orbital of chlorine to form sigma bond so in beryllium chloride the bond angle is 180 and the geometry is linear another example for sp hybridization is ethine c2h2 in excited state you can find four electrons four unpaired electrons in the carbon among them one s orbital and two pr one one s orbital and one p orbital undergo hybridization to produce two sp hybrid orbitals and two p orbitals remains unhybridized so each sp hybrid orbital of each carbon overlap axially with another carbon to form sigma bond and another sp hybrid orbital axially overlap with the s orbital of hydrogen to form sigma bond and remaining two unhybridized orbitals of each carbon they axially overlap with the unhybridized p orbitals of another carbon sidewise overlapping to form two pi bonds so again here in geometry is linear and bond angle is 180 sp2 hybridization in boron trifluoride boron atomic number is 5 this is a electronic configuration in excited state so one s orbital and two p orbital undergo hybridization to produce three sp2 hybrid orbitals each sp2 hybrid orbital axially overlap with the p orbital of fluorine to form sigma bond and this is the geometry of boron trifluoride which is planar and bond angle is 120 degree then sp2 hybridization in ethene c2h4 so in carbon excited state electronic configuration one s orbital and two p orbital undergo hybridization that is sp2 hybridization to produce three sp2 hybrid orbitals and one p orbital remains unhybridized so each among three sp2 hybrid orbitals one sp2 hybrid orbital axially overlap with carbon to form sigma bond and remaining two sp2 hybridized orbital overlap with the s orbital of hydrogen axially to form sigma bond and unhybridized p orbital axially sidewise overlap with the another carbon unhybridized p orbital to form pi bond so between two carbon there is one sigma bond and one pi bond and each carbon is associated with two hydrogen atoms so bond angle is 120 and geometry is planar sp3 hybridization in methane so one s orbital and three p orbital undergo hybridization to produce four sp3 hybrid orbitals 
Each sp3 hybrid orbital axially overlap with the s orbital of hydrogen to form sigma bond. So around one carbon, there are four hydrogen with sigma bond. Bond angle one not point one not nine point five degree, and geometry is tetrahedral. Another important question is electronic configuration of helium molecule, and calculate the bond order. And also in one more way, they are going to ask helium molecule cannot exist. So according to MOT molecular orbital theory, we need to explain. So helium molecule electronic configuration is sigma one s two and sigma star one s two. So when you calculate bond order, bond order formula is half of number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital. Bonding molecular orbital is sigma one s two, and number of electrons in anti-bonding molecular orbital that is sigma star one s two. So bonding also two electrons, anti-bonding also two electrons. Two minus two is zero. Zero into half is zero. So bond order is zero. So helium molecule cannot exist because helium is monoatomic. Another three marks important question is according to linear combination of atomic orbital, we need to show the formation of hydrogen molecule with its energy level diagram. So in hydrogen molecule, there are two hydrogen atoms. So these these are the two hydrogen atoms with one unpaired electron. When these two atomic orbitals combine according to LCAO. they form two molecular orbitals one is bonding molecular orbital and another one is anti bonding molecular orbital anti bonding is represented by star so sigma 1s2 and sigma star 1s0 so this is the energy level diagram of hydrogen molecule according to uh, lcao so in carbon molecule there are 12 electrons 6 plus 6 12 electron So six electrons arranged like this. This is the electronic configuration of carbon molecule: sigma one s two, sigma star one s two, sigma two s two, sigma star two s two, pi two p x two, pi two p y two. So bond order when you calculate the number of electrons in bonding molecular orbitals are eight minus number of electrons in anti bonding are four. So when you calculate the bond order is two between two carbon atoms, two bonds will be there. and due to the absence of unpaired electron carbon molecule is diamagnetic similarly oxygen molecule electronic configuration it has 16 electrons so this is the elect in a, uh, electronic configuration of oxygen molecule you can find unpaired electron in oxygen molecule that's why oxygen molecule is paramagnetic and when you calculate bond order between two oxygen atom double bond one sigma and one pi Then last topic of this chapter is hydrogen bond and its type. Hydrogen bond is formed between hydrogen atom of one molecule with electronegative atom of another molecule. For example, HF, hydrogen fluoride, and another hydrogen fluoride. So hydrogen atom of one molecule and electronegative atom of another molecule. For example, fluorine. So between hydrogen atom of one molecule and electronegative atom of another molecule. there is a force of attraction develops that force of attraction is called as hydrogen bond there are two types of hydrogen bonding we can find intermolecular hydrogen bond and intramolecular hydrogen bond if the hydrogen bond form between two molecules two two molecules it is called as inter and if the hydrogen bond forms within the same molecule it is called as intramolecular hydrogen bond for example in ortho nitrophenol so these are some of the important questions and answers of this chapter